Hi everybody, it's Carolyn. Okay, so today I'm just going to offer you a little bit of something that happened to me over the weekend, but I put the puzzle pieces together and I want to share this with you because I think it's really important for us um, as we move forward in this journey. So we're going to talk about know thyself and um, energy. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it sitting on my deck for a beautiful fall day. Um, and yeah, so this is on October 10th. You'll probably get this in the next day or two. I hope the uh, 1010 portal has been good to you. <laughs> and the full moon, which of ours all, all landed in the last, what, 24 hours. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. I really noticed over the weekend um, a lot of clearing is what I will say. And a lot of, um, well, that's really what I'm talking about today. But um, clearing just in general for myself. So just know that around these portals, you'll start understanding um, how you react to them. You'll start understanding how you clear. And I'm talking about like physically, we physically clear too, right? It's not just, oh, you know, Archangel Michael, help me clear. We physically have things happen to us too. So um, lots of times on these big days, um, that'll happen. Anyway, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carolyn, I'm a channel, I'm a distance energy healer, and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer these channeled messages that hopefully will help you along your awakening and ascension journey. So let's just get right into it. So something that I want to share with you guys is something I have learned pretty fully this weekend. And it has to do with being able to understand and really know how our bodies and our mind react to encounters with other energies. So some of us clear for the land, right? We actually have processes we use, or some of us don't even know that, and I'm gonna to get to that here in a minute. And we actually are clearing for the land, which was my circumstance this weekend. I just learned that. Um, others of us run into um, people who, I think I shared one of my experiences, people who you know, their souls are reaching out for strength from those of us who are light workers and needing the light and maybe seeing your light. And again, this is all <laughs> behind the scenes, right? Um, typically um, seeing the light and then wanting to bring that into them to help them continue forward, right? Um, there's all kinds of ways we can, as a physical body and our mind, be impacted by um, other energy that we run into. And the reason I'm talking about this today is because we become so much more sensitive and open and visible as we move through this awakening journey. And so we are, remember, this is all energetic. Um, we are energetically more visible, whether that be to lower energies or souls that need our light, which is also part of why we start making decisions about how much we're out with a lot of other people. Um, sometimes it just doesn't feel right. We, um, we do go through a fa phases of just a lot more alone time, but we're much, we, we become much more selective about where we spend our energy. And it's really important to understand that and to lean into it and not ignore that, okay? Um, I used to be a social butterfly, right? And I no longer am. It's been a gradual approach to getting to this point where, um, first of all, I don't have the energy for that. I don't mean physical bodily energy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the shift and change that the awakening has brought through that doesn't allow me to share the energy I used to because I was oversharing energy, right? Um, so anyway, one of the things that I've learned recently is it's really important to start to understand, and this is a study in yourself, understand how what the signs and messages are that your mind and your body give you when, okay, I just heard another energy infiltrates you. Now that doesn't need to be scary, okay? Um, but when another energy kind of either moves through you, which I'll share my experience here in a minute, or um, joins you, 
Um, and the first thing to be able to do is know, know thyself. Like seriously, know that, wait a minute, what's been going on that would cause me to feel this way? First of all, that doesn't feel like me. I don't normally have those kinds of feelings or thoughts or I just feel icky. I haven't been anywhere. Have I? Or have I been somewhere where that could potentially happen? Really evaluating your situation and knowing, again, I go back to really learning to understand how you respond since you are now awakening, how you respond to energetic circumstances. Here's a good example. Places like if you're traveling somewhere and you're going to different locations, so much has happened on this land, right? So much trauma, so much um, um, blood spilled, so much has occurred on our land across the world, right? Well, as a light worker, part of our responsibility really, or part of our job, I'll just say, oftentimes is helping clear, all right? It's not just clearing our stuff. That's the thing. A lot of us, it's not just our stuff, right? That's enough to have to deal with. But when you're clearing for the land, or you're clearing, helping assist others in their journey, um, we have to really understand ourselves. So once again, this is why I go back to always saying, we have to take care of ourselves. But self-care isn't just about you know, doing the pampering, doing the things, taking the time. It's understanding ourselves. It's understanding how we feel. It's understanding our mindset. It's understanding why am I waking up? Did I wake up in the middle of the night with these strange thoughts? And, you know, what do I do about it? What do I do about it then, right? So the first thing is getting to know yourself and how you respond to different energies. You might not understand the energies, but you're going to know your patterns of yourself day to day. <clears throat> and hopefully it's, you know, somewhat consistent for you. And so that you really do know um, when it's when you're off a little bit. So my example is this last weekend, and it really solidified for me that I also clear for the land. And it um, also has to do twice. I've had this happen very profoundly, and the process is the same for me, where I didn't. I'm trying to figure out if they can tell me in the future, like when this is going to happen, so I can kind of prepare. But um, I was at a fall festival over in Illinois at um, what are called Dixon Mounds. Well, we came upon Dixon Mounds, and um, which is a Native American site that is really something else. If you want something very interesting and that's very unique to, I think, not just North America, but like the least North and South America, very unique location where um, there have been basically in situ these bodies of Native Americans found back in the early 1900s. And they actually have a museum of it. Um, it's incredible. You might find it interesting just to look it up. Anyway, point is this, we just came upon it. I didn't know what this was at all. And my mom says to me, oh yeah, I've heard of Dixon Mounds. Well, I got out on the land and I just started to kind of walk around, read some signs. And I'm like, oh, this would be fun to come back to. Then we could go into the museum, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I come home after a full day of doing the festival and I have the same thing happen to me in the middle of the night. I get woken up um, and I am processing not only the energies of the land for that area of um, the Illinois River Valley, because they don't know why these people died, um, at least from what I read. There, something happened there. The thing is, I had that rolling through my mind. It's very... Um, energetically traumatic, I'll just say, in the middle of the night. I knew it was happening. And I was also having the um, montage of faces of all these hundreds of people we were around. And I also knew that I was taking on some of their energy, okay? Now, I still haven't determined, you know, was that supposed to happen or not? But I know the land was supposed to happen. So I have come to realize, based on some of the things that I've experienced over the last year that I do clear for the land. You might also, um, but it's really being able to watch the patterns, which is why journaling is good. Know yourself, look at the big picture, be able to know when you're off your game. Now, for me, a big signal is I get woken up in the middle of the night when it all shows up. 
go figure, right? It's like I t take it home, right, in a way, and then all of a sudden it processes through my body. I'm like a vessel, it just flies through. But as it flies through me, it brings for me mental images and a sense of not feeling well, and that's all kinds of different things. Um, I think I may have shared my Chaco Canyon experience as well, so it was very similar to that. Um, but I know what to do, and this is the other thing, know what to do to clear it. So um, my process when it's in the middle of the night is I just basically say, okay, we're not doing this, this, we're done, clear this, clear this. It takes about an hour though. It's, it's when I do the big clearings, um, and I always call in Archangel Michael, and I'm going to tell you right now, the other night when I called him in um, to add to the work that I was doing, Suddenly, I just felt this whoosh through my body, and I took this huge deep breath and just whoosh. And so part of my process that I know that my body does, again, it's about knowing your body and how you clear, I always take these huge exhales. They're not just normal big deep breaths. I do this for clients, and I know that. I, when I um, expel energy that they're holding they don't need any longer, um, I, it just rolls right through me and out. Well, what happened with this one, he helped release this from me. I took this massive, huge, deep breath and then um, multiple ones afterwards and I could tell I was better. It takes about 20 minutes to get back into my current state, but those are the big en energies, right? Those are the land energies, like a lot of land energies, um, um, like land spirits that are there and that I'm, I have a feeling I'm releasing them as well. Okay, I just heard, okay, let's see, I'm still learning. Um, Okay, I just heard, oh, I just got chills. Yes, you are, and you're also releasing the land from the bonds. Oh, of the trauma that happened there. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean you were in that life. You are there as a light worker to do that work. Um, so, first of all, during this journey, it's so important to understand your energy body and how you're starting to react to being more open having and basically being more open means your chakras are wide open your crowns wide open your you know that's something i definitely know right like i'm wide open and um most of us know that as we start receiving information or we work with pendulums and or dowsing rods and they just move like crazy right like no problem um your your energy system has to be opened up and not blocked to be able to have that happen anyway point is is know your energy body start watching for patterns okay it'll over time you'll understand yourself um take notes um like this happened i mean be like a scientist of your own self of your own journey like really study it because it's going to help you when you get to the stage because remember we're always growing when we get to the stage of that growth where you're needed for s s bigger stuff like this, like land clearings or, you know, uh, that where there was trauma on the land of some form. Um, and it's, it's real important for your own health, um, your mental well-being, I will say, and being able to have a clear space. So also remember, this also has to do with bringing energies home with us. So this is kind of more on the, like the things I'm talking about are the bigger events that you may be working to clear for that or may affect you energetically you know when you travel places when you um particularly when you go to um places when you're not always going to know but places where you know there have been big historical events right um or and, and we want to make sure too that we understand how to clear okay how, how do or and also maybe to prep for that we don't always know when we're needed in places right um, and it may just happen like me. It just happens. And I've got to kind of, again, like I said, I'm in the middle of understanding this. I need to find a way, hopefully, to help have my team tell me maybe in advance. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, but I also do think that I just clear directly. Like it just happens. I go and it goes. And then I, I have to get rid of the residual. So know thyself. Study up on yourself watch your patterns watch your signs also know that when you are going somewhere maybe different that you haven't been before or you're getting called to go somewhere just know that you may be there to do a clearing and you may not even know it or understand it but after you what i would say to you is ensure that you have 
a clearing, um, what I will say, just a regular clearing um, practice. Now, we all should be doing this anyway, right? Forget these big events like I just talked about, the land clearing. We should all be clearing every day, okay? Sage works great for me. I'm pretty basic with things. Sage works fantastic for me in my home. I keep my home very clear, very clean in that sense, energetically. I also do Epsom salt baths. I uh, made sure to do one when I came home then after that event this weekend. Um, uh, you know, you'll have your own method. I mean, honestly, it's not enough to just like to stay clean, take a shower and brush your teeth anymore and wash your hair. That's not, that's not enough. We've got to clear our energy body, clean our energy body all the time. Sparkly clean, right? So get into the habit of that daily and then you'll be ready for these big events that may likely happen to you we are needed all over the world and we do not know what circumstances we're going to be thrown into but if you know yourself that's the theme of this know thyself they keep saying know thyself know thyself and it it really means intimately understanding our that we are um we are a vessel that energy runs through and we have to know how to manage it so i hope this has been helpful i would challenge all of you to start um um, really adding to your practice and even though you're doing a lot of you the day-to-day -day, um you know really think about where am i going where am i traveling how have i felt in the past did i know did i not even know that this happened oh that's maybe why i felt strange so kind of study some historical stuff that has happened to you but you'll know when the thoughts aren't your own um, which has happened to me your thoughts aren't your own you get a montage of visuals this is what happens to me it might not happen to you montage of visuals thoughts aren't your own um uh, and what happens also then with me is the humans always over here looking in and seeing this happen and then comes and moves in kind of experiences it pulls out like this isn't me so there's a lot there to kind of unwrap and unravel for yourself in your own process and understanding of how you um, process energy encounter energy because remember everything's energy everything is energy and we are here as light workers, and we shine brightly, and we also have agreed to do certain kinds of work. And like I said, right now, I'm just in the process of understanding that I do land work, um, and that's about all I can share with you now, <laughs> because like I said, I'm starting to unravel it too. So hopefully this has been helpful to you, and I just kind of just think about this and how it applies to you moving forward. Okay, that's what I got for you today. So check out purplerainhealing.com if you want to work with me for channeled messages, distance energy healing, and more. I help you with your soul journey, help you understand why you are where you are today, relationships, experiences, and I also offer the one-on-one -on -one mentoring where I can work with you over time if you'd like. So check it out. And again, thank you so much for joining me in this short, hopefully helpful video.